All right, guys, for the final part of template interaction, let's see how to access a DOM element in the template from the component class. Right now in our demo application, we have three input elements, one for name, one for username, and one for customer name. Let's say on page load, we want to set the focus on the name input element. It is a common scenario with forms like login form for example, where on page load, the focus is already on the username or email field. To be able to do that, we need to use the view child decorator. Let's see how to use that in this video. First up, attach a template reference variable to the input element. I'm going to call it name ref. So on the input element, pound sign, and then name ref. Second step, create a property that will hold a reference to this DOM element. So in the app component class, I'm going to create a new property and I'm going to call it name element ref. And this property is of type element ref. Make sure to import it from angular slash core. Third step, we need to tell this property which DOM element it has to reference. And for that, we make use of the view child decorator. So at the beginning, we are going to add at view child. And within parentheses, we specify the template reference variable. Now the input element has a template reference variable called name ref, which is what we specify to the view child decorator. Again, make sure to import view child from angular slash core. Now here's the thing. If you want to write component initialization code that uses the references injected by this view child decorator, we need to do it inside the after view init lifecycle hook. It is inside that lifecycle hook, the references to DOM elements become available. So step four, let's implement the after view init lifecycle hook. So app component, implements after view in it and make sure to import it from the core package and then let's define the ng after view in it method ng after view in it and within the body we are going to type this dot name element ref dot native element dot focus this dot name element ref is like a wrapper around the actual DOM element. So we need to go a step further and access the native element property and then call the focus method. Now if I save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that the focus is on the name input element and right away I can start typing my name. I can refresh this you can see that the focus is already present on the input element. Now, if I go back to VS Code and over here, let me log console.log this dot name element ref, go back to the browser, refresh this, open DevTools, go to the console, expand element ref, you can see that we have the native element property, expand it, and you can see all the DOM element properties and methods. So you can either alter the property values or call the methods to meet your requirements. ViewChild is something you would definitely use a lot in your Angular applications, so please do make a note of this decorator. Just to summarize how to use it, first step, create a template reference variable on the HTML element. Second step, create a property that is of type element ref. Third step, attach the view child decorator specifying the template reference variable. And finally, the fourth step, define the ng after view init method with the logic as per your requirement. 
All right, now that we have a good understanding of how a class and its template interact within the same component, let's move on to interaction between different components. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.